Welcome back. Historical computers are those computers that have been designed and built within the last 400 years or so, and which more resemble what one would consider as a computer today. The first historical computer device was the slide rule. The slide rule was an absolutely brilliant piece of human ingenuity, not only in its simplicity of use and its ability to render computations at an unprecedented level of accuracy, but also in the advanced mathematical basis of its operations. Developed around 1622 by William Otred, the slide rule is based on logarithmic principles, allowing one to quickly perform the operations of multiplication, division, square roots, exponents, logarithms, and even trigonometry. It is not for the faint of heart as it requires a mastery of the principles of logarithms in order to use it effectively. But for scientists and engineers during the Renaissance, it was a godsend. It allowed these practitioners to extend their theories and their constructions to even greater depth and precision than what was previously possible. Theories could now be proved by mathematics alone. But despite how indispensable these devices were, slide rules are no longer in use today as electronic calculators have rendered them obsolete. But they do show up every now and again, mainly as decorator items. Here's an image of a watch that has a slide rule incorporated into the outer ring of its face. The 1700s saw the start of the Industrial Revolution, starting in England, Europe, and the US, but eventually covering the entire world. The key goal of this revolution was to streamline and make as efficient as possible the manufacture of goods and materials on a large scale. And a part of this was a focus on how to automate manufacturing processes as much as possible. One such, a, such invention in the late 1700s was the sewing machine. It allowed workers to efficiently produce clothing for a growing consumer market and with a high degree of quality to the craftsmanship. Sewing machines could be programmed to sew in different patterns as needed by different garments. Now, sewing machines are not what one thinks of as a computing device, but their ability to be programmed for different sewing patterns can be seen as a lead in to the development of other devices that could also be programmed. The advent of the sewing machine led to an increase in demand for raw clothing material. The demand that couldn't be met by manually operated weaving looms, and thus came another ingenious invention, the power loom, an automated self-powered version of the weaving loom. Power looms were first developed in the early 1800s and rapidly became ubiquitous throughout the clothing industry. Not only could the power loom turn out kilometers of linens and raw clothing material with few, if any, flaws or errors on a daily basis, but weaving patterns and designs could be programmed into the machines so as to make different runs of materials as being required by the clothing factories. But these big industrial operations being fueled by programmable automatic machines the need for accounting became an ever-mounting issue for these companies. To address this need, in stepped a man by the name of Charles Babbage. Charles Babbage was an English gentleman who, in the mid-1800s, designed what many people today consider, be, consider to be the first programmable computer. It was a mechanical device that one could input numbers and a program and then produce a calculated result based off of those numbers and the program as output. Unfortunately, Charles was never able to complete a working model of this computer, which he referred to as a difference engine. 
but his designs went on to inspire other engineers to design more machines that could automatically do calculations on groups of numbers. Thus came the adding machine. Although adding machines had been developed about 200 years prior, none really caught on until the late 1800s when a patent for an adding machine was filed in the US, enabling accounting to finally flourish, especially in the wake of the Industrial Revolution. Now, accountants could quickly add up huge sums of numbers with great accuracy so as to track the activities and large sums of money that these industrial giants were struggling with. The age of computers was now just over the horizon, ready to take humanity by storm. But something was missing, something that computers needed in order for them to break out from the shackles of the mechanical environment in which they had existed at the end of the 19th century. Unknown to anyone at that time, very technology that computers needed was being discovered in a laboratory in East Orange, New Jersey. Its discovery was happening virtually right at the same time that that patent for an adding machine was being filed, but no one made the connection. This discovery would eventually dwarf the impact of the Industrial Revolution and change the entire world in a way that no one ever saw coming or could have ever imagined. What was this discovery and who made it? Please join me in the next video where we'll talk about none other than Thomas Alvin Edison. See you then. Thank you.